हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम नीरज सो वी हैव सक्सेसफुली कनेक्टेड अवर रिएक्ट ऐप विथ अवर जिन जी डब्ल्यू टी ऑथ ए पी आई सर्वर दैट ए पी आई इज़ रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर ऑल द ऑथेंटिकेशन प्रोसेस सो रजिस्ट्रिंग एंड क्रिएटिंग टोकन्स एंड ऑथेंटिकेटिंग ए यूजर एंड ऑल सॉर्ट ऑफ स्टेप सो दैट पार्ट इज रनिंग फाइन एंड वी हैव ऑल्सो वर्क डॉन हाउ टू Uh, authenticate a user so user login functionality is also working so we have hit the login button so api is running and uh, we have successfully got this message that user authenticated so this part is uh, running fine so there is no problem but uh, before proceeding further that why we use for the global state management so first let us try to understand what uh, a uh, global state management tool like uh, a package like uh, context api or redux so what uh, why we use for so here the problem here is that uh, although so we have got this uh, if we look at in our uh, application local storage so we have got the token so there is no problem we have got it uh, but uh, what uh, what if if i traverse to some other uh, pages like about page contact page or a home page so how can i get what the what the user name was or what the user email id was first let us also very quickly so uh, our api is running let me try let me let us do a uh, very quickly so i am going to do a little stuff here cd controller and uh, this so here i feel like uh, in our login route so we have uh, we are not returning the the user object so very quickly so what i'll do is so i'll return the user object as well return object and let us call it user and here we will i will return this uh, whole user okay. so that way so we will get the our user also w q and save and uh, now run it okay fine so we can uh, check in the network tab let me clear first and uh, let us try to log in again so here we are getting this login 200 and here in the in this response so we are getting this user data so what uh, uh, what we have to do is that uh, we want to display something like uh, okay if the user is logged in so say something in the header bar so okay you are uh, logged in as uh, the email uh, i mean test at this this email id so this user uh, this uh, user object so how can we do that so basically for that purpose only so we have you we have to store this data somewhere uh, in the Uh, if we because we have we have already seen about the the uh, normal state variables state objects so if we don't redirect this user back to this uh, home page so very very quickly so if the moment uh, user clicks user hits this submit button so if we stay over there so we can store this uh, 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 this user data in the state variable and we can display there but the problem here is from the from this login route so we want to that that user data stay uh, at uh, all the uh, all the other subsequent pages so that we can uh, we can track the user uh, user session cause react is totally a stateless so stateless mechanism so it doesn't know about any session so that is why we used token for uh, identifying the user so based on this token so since we have already stored this uh, this token in the in the local storage so that is okay that uh, we can uh, get this data from the from this token but uh, the best way the best part would be that uh, we want 
that if uh, there is a man, any mechanism so that we can uh, store this data in a global state kind of variable and uh, wherever so wherever so wherever we need so we can uh, access do, access uh, those uh, data from that uh, global store global state store otherwise so uh, in a literally in a in a very raw way so obviously so we can uh, there is a term called uh, pop drilling so we can pass the data from one component to other but uh, other but that way so it would create many lots of problems so uh, for example say if our if we need to pass the data up to uh, 10 times deep in our component structure component hierarchy so we have to go one by one one component to other other component to third third to fourth and so on so that is why so uh, we used uh, in a in a production environment so or or basically so as a as a best practice so we create some global store so where we store those state variable state data in that store and whichever component needs to access those uh, those data so that uh, that component can uh, get the data from that store and uh, so that's it so basically there are uh, two mechanisms in order to do that one is the context API that is natively available in uh, in the React ecosystem, and second one is a uh, another th another package called Redux Store. So uh, Redux. So uh, for this uh, tutorial, th this series. So uh, I am going with uh, with Redux. So that would be uh, so we will so Redux is a very broad actually a topic itself so we will not go that deep in Redux but we will in, we will implement the Redux uh, uh, mechanism in uh, our application and so that so we, uh, whenever the user logs logs in so on the, any subsequent routes also so we could be able to get the data uh, uh, get the, that uh, user data okay so in order to do that so I will be using so Redux uh, toolkit. So uh, in this session, so let us also install. So uh, if you come to this uh, their website, so here actually we need to install. Otherwise, so there are two mechanisms. So since we are going to use with a uh, React, and uh, since this is a this is a not not uh, Next.js app. So we and we have to add the Redux in the existing application. So very raw. So this is stuff. But since our application is a uh, is a React based, so we will use also need to install React Redux package as well, so that we can we could be able to work correctly. So very quickly, I am simply going to copy this, and uh, here we will uh, come to the terminal and uh, cd client and copy and paste so and it will install both these dependencies the redux js toolkit and the react redux package and once this packages would be installed so we would be able to um, manage the states the global state and we will we will dive further and we will create the store and slices and we will uh, we will uh, de definitely so we will do th those steps so i believe so i so we understood first the problem what the problem is and we have also find the solution and the way how to overcome that problem so stay tuned and uh, i i do under agree that uh, this session was mostly a theoretical one and not and very little practical but uh, theoretical understanding about the understanding about the problem what the problem is that is i think that is also required what the problem is and uh, once we uh, get the understanding well uh, well understanding about the problem then we could be very uh, they could, then uh, we could be able to find the solution very easily as well okay so that was uh, that's all was the purpose of this uh, short session so I'll see you in some other session. So till then, take care and happy coding.